Once you've fully sharpened all of the cutters on your chain, the next step is to check and see if we need to grind the depth gauges or rakers. To do that, the first step is to flip the head on the advance arm back out of the way, and then get your depth gauge measurement tool here, and it slides down into the slot where the advance arm rides and just sits down snugly in that slot right there. So then what you want to do, manually move the chain around so that the very edge of the cutter that you've sharpened here is right under the edge of this screw. And then you want to tighten this down until it just touches the very tip of the cutter. Like so. Next, rock the cutter back so that the depth gauge is now lined up under that same edge of the screw where we just had the cutter head. And using the included 0 0.025 inch feeler gauge here, Try and insert it between the screw and the depth gauge. Uh, 0 0.025 is standard for most chains. You might want to check with your uh, chain manufacturer's specifications to see if they uh, want something different, but most chains seem to use 0 0.025. So if it fits in between the screw there and the, and the raker without moving the tool, then you are good to run the chain. The rakers are set to an appropriate height. If it will not fit, then we need to proceed on to grinding down the rakers.